We are just about set for baseball here at Great American Ballpark as the Reds attempt to head into the All-Star break with a three-game series sweep over the Miami Marlins. The lefties final outing before the break. Lodolo taking on a Marlins team that has struggled terribly against left-handed starters. And a swing and a fly ball to right field. In a step is Hines. Now he'll back up to where he started, make the catch, and Jazz Chisholm, who's had a difficult series, continues. Ryan De La Cruz comes to the plate. Breaking ball, strike three. And a nice job. He went away and then came back in with that sweeping breaking ball. Josh Bell bats, and the pitch to Bell is slapped in the air to right. Hines backing up a couple of steps. He's got it. And Nick Lodolo. As a three up, three down first. Starting pitcher for the Marlins is Trevor. His 19th start of the season. He finished second, of course, in the Rookie of the Year voting in 2021 to Jonathan India. As India rifles one to left field, staggering is Brian De La Cruz. He makes the catch, and there's one out here in the bottom of the first inning. And here's Ellie De La Cruz. He swings and he hits it in the air. Shallow right center field. Brujan's on the run. So too is Jesus Sanchez, who makes a terrific running catch in the gap in right center field. And there's quickly two outs here at the bottom of the first inning. Yeah, Jesus had to cover a lot of ground to get to that baseball. Go one pitch is flown in the air to right field. We are swinging early and often this afternoon. Sanchez makes the catch and the side is retired. A perfect top and bottom of the first inning here this afternoon. The Dolo worked to one, two, three first. Here's the 0-2 pitch to Xavier Edwards. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Well, being very aggressive as a pitcher, you have to understand that. Expand and get the chase. No balls, two strikes. Lodolo readies, and here's his 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Lodolo to finish off the Marlins in the second. He has punched out three over two. Spencer Steer will lead things off for the Cincinnati Reds here in the bottom of the second inning facing Trevor Rogers, who tossed the perfect bottom of the first payoff pitch. Swung on it, missed strike three, got him with a slider. Well, that was a good slider to Spencer Steer to strike him out swinging. Now quickly, nothing in two on Austin Slater, who's 0 for 6 lifetime against Trevor. Swing and a miss, strike three, got him on a slider. He continues to be a good pitch for him. Two strikeouts and a score of the second inning for Trevor Rogers. Lodolo is perfect through three innings this afternoon. Three and two the count to Jazz leading off the fourth. Marlins still looking for their first base runner of the game. And they've got it. Chisholm watches the sinker inside ball four. So the Marlins do have their first base runner of the ball game. Still looking for their first hit. We'll see if the second time through the batting order is a little bit different here for Mr. Lodolo. And a bouncing ball headed for De La Cruz. The shortstop scoop steps on second and throws the first in plenty of time. That's a 6-3 double play. Just what the defensive doctor ordered right there. That's a six unassisted double play. Second time through the order now for Trevor Rogers against these Reds. Reds don't have a base runner so far against Rogers. 3-2 pitch. And a backdoor breaking ball hangs outside for ball four. The Reds do have their first base runner. Lead off walk to Jonathan India in inning number four. So these two pitchers almost mirroring each other identically to this point. Ellie De La Cruz is up with man at first and nobody out. And De La Cruz takes inside ball four. Mel Stottlemyre is going to make his way out the mound and pay this left-hander a visit who's standing there with his hand on his hip. Reds threatening first and second, nobody out after a pair of walks to start the bottom of the fourth inning for the Reds and delivers. Nearly went to the backstop. Here's the throw to first, and they've picked off Ellie De La Cruz. Berger's running him towards second base. He'll apply a tag on him, and a sensational back pick by Nick Fortes and Jake Berger. That's a big first out here in the inning. That was a smart baseball play right there. You love to see it from Nick Fortes. Rogers has issued his third walk. He's punched out two. One, two. He is called strike three over the inside corner. And now Tyler Stevenson is not happy. Finally, Trevor Rogers gets that call on the inside edge. In the side is retired. So here's Jesus Sanchez, 0 for 1 today with a strikeout. Facing the lefty Lodolo. 1-0, runner goes, and Sanchez on a hit and run. Lines one through the left side. That's a base hit. On his way to third is Edwards, and he slides in safely. Now the ball rolls towards the pitcher's mound, and Jesus Sanchez takes off from first for second. He slides in safely there. And the Marlins have runners at second and third with one out here in the top of the fifth inning looking to threaten first in this ball game. So that's the first hit surrendered by Lodolo. It's the only hit of the game. Infield back, here's Jonah Bride. 2-2. Two -two. 
is lined into center field. That's a base hit for Jonah Bride. Edwards scores. Sanchez rounds third. He'll score standing up. It's 2 0 Miami here in the fifth. And for Jonah Bride, that now his third hit since being called up. This is his fifth game. Trevor Rogers has held the Reds hit list over the first five innings of this game. The 1 2 to India. He swings and he drives this one high and deep to left center field. It is going to bounce and one hop off the wall. Extra bases for India. And he will cruise into second base with a one-out double, the Reds' first hit of the afternoon. So the no-hitter bid is done. Now the tying run of the plate, the powerful Ellie De La Cruz. First pitch, high fly, right center. Brohan way back. Tie game! He takes the outright team lead, number 17. One of the most fearsome power and speed combinations in the game levels the day. Well, it turned on a dime. Trevor Rogers has been really good. He left the ball out over the plate to Jonathan India. And he hits it for the double and leaves another one right out there over the plate to Ellie De La Cruz. Declan Cronin will pitch to Tyler Stevenson leading off the bottom of the seventh inning. Going on, that's going to be a hit. Center field, one hopper right out to the center fielder, Vidal Buhan. And Tyler Stevenson gets things going here in the seventh inning for the Reds. So now two down in the inning for Santiago Espinal. A breaking pitch. That's an opposite field base hit. Stevenson will go into second base and hold it right there as the throw comes into the cutoff man. But a nice bit of opposite field hitting for Espinal. And he's got his first hit of the ball game. And here comes, it looks like Jake Fraley to hit. So it appears the Reds are going to lose the DH to try to go all in here and now with Fraley pinch hitting and it looks like we'll get a left on left situation here but the Reds pinch hit for the pinch hitter a pinch hitter for the pinch hitter the pinch hitter was Jake Fraley he'll be lifted back and replaced by Noelvi Marte and the one two offering from AJ Puck is popped in the air to shallow left field going out a couple of steps on the grass as Xavier Edwards he makes the catch and the inning is over Boy, David Bell goes to his bench three times in the bottom of the seventh inning in desperate need of a run and they come up empty and there's two outs in the inning and here comes Jake Berger down the left field line fair ball into the corner well, Berger on his way to second base and he'll get there with a two out double that's the go ahead run he did make a mistake with the split fingered fastball and Berger uh, stayed back long enough to buggy whip it down in that left field corner and the go ahead man is at second base for the Marlins you love to see it especially with Xavier Edwards coming up. And he swings and hits one through the left side on the ground. That's a base hit. Berger rounds third. He's coming towards the plate. Here comes a throw. It's cut off. It's not in time. It's 3-2 to two Miami. A two-out RBI single for Xavier Edwards. Another two-out run for the Marlins. Gives them the lead in the eighth inning. 0-2 oh the count to Edwin Rios. Reds down to their final strike. Swing and a miss for strike three. It's a Marlins win. And the grounds crew about to cover the field as the Marlins will shake hands as they win the final game before the All-Star break.